mindfulness skills. Do you love them or do you hate them? Um, they are both for me. Uh, I'm Liana. I'm the founder of Mindful Healing, a teen therapy practice in Connecticut. Um, so I want to talk to you today about why they're both my favorite and my least favorite skills. So I do. I love mindfulness skills. I teach them all the time. And, you know, I love them because they can be used for just about everything. They help ground you. They can center you. They can bring you just a moment of peace in a chaotic day when you've done anywhere. There's just a, a variety of skills. They help you find, you know, peace and zen and, and identify your feelings and be more in touch with who you are as a person and, and grow. And I mean, that list of why I love them can just go on and on. And, you know, sometimes they're my least favorite skill because they seem simple and they can actually be really, really challenging. They're easy to overlook. If I'm not practicing, I can be out of touch with them and they can feel frustrating. And though they're non-judgmental, you know, judgments fly anyway. And we tend to judge our judgments. Um, and, you know, the, the sense of them being simple, but the, the dialectic and the, the balance of them actually not being simple at times um, it can make them hard to practice and easy to overlook um, and easy to kind of push to the back burner. And um, so for me, that, that makes them their, that own, their own balance of favorite because they do so much and least favorite because they can be challenging at times and easy to avoid. Uh, I'd love to hear your thoughts on, on how you use mindfulness skills. If you have any struggles with them, if you know, you have your favorite, what your favorite is, uh, share them in the comments below.